Hey there, I'm Sankhisa and welcome to SK Productions video editing series. In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, today we are going to talk about how to balance the source audio. So whenever I edit interviews, I always have this problem that one person's volume is too loud and another person's volume is too low. So to balance that audio, I have discovered that tube body compressor is very useful. So what it does is it automatically adjusts the volume of a clip for you. So you don't have to go through and keyframe every peak and volume manually. So let's get started. Look at the audio levels here. In the beginning, it's only moving between minus 36 and minus 80, and on the loudest part, it is kind of peaking. Well, I don't like one personality. Yeah, not really a personality. So to balance that audio, we will apply the tube model compressor to audio. Go to effect controls. You can see tube model compressor effect here. Click on edit, make it large. You can see the main file controls here. The threshold is the level above which signal is reduced. The ratio is the factor by which signals above threshold are reduced. The attack time is the time period during which the compressor decreases gain to its desired level. While the release time is the time period during which the compressor increases gain to its desired level. Finally, output gain is the gain that is applied after compressor raises signals to an optimum level. We'll start with the ratio 4 is to 1 which is sort of default ratio for the vocal audio sources. Next, we'll set very fast attack time of 1 millisecond and we'll set release time to 250 milliseconds. Then play the audio in the background and begin to lower the threshold until you see around 3 decibels of gain reduction on the compressor's gain reduction meter during the clip's loudest part. That sounds really intense. Is that even possible? <laughs> it is. It is possible. Although, if you would have asked 20 years ago, scientists would have told you that the brain stopped changing by the time you were eating. Rewire the brain. Yes, you can literally wow. rewire the brain. That's fascinating. So it takes a lot of work, but it's... Can uh, you choose definitely. which points of the brain that you're rewiring? <laughs> well, if I don't like one personality. <laughs> yeah, not really a personality, but what you, what you want to do is... Finally, we'll use the output gain to raise the overall levels. Play the audio in the background so that you can adjust the levels accordingly. Any solid way to change the brain, and so that's what we focus on, so that you can get to your goals and actually stick with them. Wow, changing the brain, that sounds really intense. Is that even possible? <laughs> it is, it is possible. Although, if you would have asked 20 years ago, scientists would have told you that the brain stopped changing by the time they were 18. Okay. But the reality is there's something called brain plasticity, hmm. which where audio levels are very low, listen to that part again and again and increase the output gain and adjust the threshold accordingly. It allows us to actually change our brain and, and the way meditation and all of the research around that proves that if you meditate every day, you can actually increase your gray matter within your brain. There's lots of different ways we can actually change and morph and rewire the brain. You can, so you're telling us that like we can literally rewire the brain. Yes, you can literally wow. rewire the brain. That's fascinating. So it takes a lot of work, but it's... Can uh, you choose difficult. which points of the brain that you're rewiring? <laughs> well, <laughs> if I don't like one personality. <laughs> yeah, not really a personality, but what you, what you want to do is... Something now look at the audio levels. Hmm. They are looking Which more balanced. Us to actually change our brain and literally rewire the brain. Yes, you can literally wow. rewire the brain. That's fascinating. So it takes a lot of work, but it's can uh, you choose? Definitely. We can literally rewire the. To compare the difference, you can simply no, turn the effect the on or off. Changing by the time they're eighteen, okay. but the reality is that something called brain plasticity, hmm. which allows us to actually change our brain and and. 
If you meditate every day, you can actually increase your gray matter within your brain. There's lots of Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, then please say like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to share your comments below. I have more video editing tutorials on my channel that you can follow. Bye for now. See you next time.